Oakland A's hosting the Texas Rangers, and the Rangers are minus 125 on the money line. The A's are plus 105. The over-under is eight runs. Texas laying a run and a half are plus 140, meaning they'd have to win the game by two. And Oakland getting a run and a half are minus 160, meaning they cannot lose the game by two. Otto pitched once against the A's last year, and he got tattooed in that one start or one appearance. Three and a third, eight runs, eight earned, and they lost that game 10 to five. Aller is a rookie, so he didn't pitch against the Rangers last year. Texas is on a one-game winning streak. They snapped Seattle's monstrous winning streak against them. Good for them. The A's are on a one-game winning streak as well. Head-to-head, -head, Oakland is 6-4 and four against the Rangers, although Texas is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite laying a run and a half is 6-4, and four, and the over-8 is 7-3. and three. Now, looking at how poorly Otto pitched against the A's last year, and I understand it was only one game, but it was at the end of the year, so we, saw, we shall see. I'm going to take Oakland with the money line, Oakland getting the runs, and I'm going to go over 8. If both of these pitchers have an awful appearance, at least you know the over will go will hit. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.